Is it time to end reverse traffic lanes? Proponents have always said the lanes reduce congestion. Yeah, but opponents say that they're confusing and just dangerous. 12 News journalist Adriana Loya spoke with drivers who have to use them each week. If you drive north or south of downtown Phoenix via 7th Street or 7th Avenue, you've encountered this, the middle turning lane that turns into a traffic lane between 6 and 9 in the morning and 4 and 6 in the afternoon. The reverse lanes have been around for over 40 years, originally installed to address traffic concerns and congestion as downtown Phoenix was growing. But as the valley continues to grow, it is known as a suicide lane. So have the concerns for those who live and work around these corridors. Like if somebody accidentally goes in the wrong way, they get mad. Everybody, it's, it's road rage central. Teresa Dickinson owns Melrose Pharmacy, just north of Indian School Road on 7th Avenue. This month, she and other neighbors creating this petition, pushing for the end of the reverse rush hour lanes. People really want to be able to actually have a community here, and we can't because we have this freeway going through our town. And there's a lot of people that really don't know the times. So it can be very confusing and it can cause a lot of accidents. Almost two years ago, the city conducted a study on the stretches of road and concluded that eliminating the reverse traffic lanes partially or completely will create operational delays, increase travel times by more than 40% in some parts and increase the possibility of crashes due to traffic congestion. What do you say to that? I feel like that that study is flawed. Teresa believes the corridors need to be looked at again, and she and others say they won't stop fighting. It's going to be a big fight, but I, hopefully it'll be sooner rather than later. Make it regular like it's supposed to be, and probably less accidents. The study also called for improvements to signs and widening the lanes, but the city tells 12 News no changes have been made. Adriana Loya, 12 News. Mm. Adriana, thank you. It is